Hey guys, RTT back here for the video, guys. A lot of people are mad. I want a 38, I want a 39, I want a 3070, but scalpers are buying them and reselling them. Well, not everyone, every scalper out there is, is buying these 3080s, 3090s, 3070s so that they can actually, you know, resell them. Some of them are buying them for crypto mining indeed. 78 crypto mining rig with 78 GeForce RTX 3080s. Guys, this is absolutely insane. First off, just the Founders Edition. This is how much a Founders Edition. If he did this with all Founders Edition cards, it would cost him $54,522. And guys, this is it. You wanted a 3080. This is what it actually is. Now, these are not Founders Edition cards. These are third-party cards, like for the win, stuff like that. So, these are actually more expensive because they're better overclocked than the Founders Edition cards. These are not $699 because 3080s are $699. Now, they have a price tag right here, and they say $699. Uh, it's the launch price, and then uh, shortest price is, of course, $1199. $93,000 is how much they actually have this listed for, right? Is how much they're actually showing us. Now, that's the wrong estimate because we know these are not Founders Editions. They go for more. They're more money. Best Buy, for example, has these cards for, I believe, these exact cards for $899. My nose is absolutely dying right now. But $899 is how much they have them listed for. So if we do that, right, just the launch price... Ends up with 78, $70,000, right? And I'm not sure what the uh, shortage price is, like the scalpers price that you would be buying it for, for these exact units. But I'm going to guess in the price tag of 93000 to probably $120,000. They're spending as an initial investment into this. Now, the thing about this is, not only are you paying, you know, money for the cards you pay money for electricity to be able to control all these cards run these cards and like all that kind of good stuff so you see right here uh cost in power how much is making from mining uh, extra is based in las vegas where electric costs around 8.43 cents per kilowatt with electricity costs estimated around 1444 dollars Estimated well here that is making $21.66 per month, accounting for 50% increase in electricity costs um, associated with air conditioning costs. So the thing about this, guys, is that not only are these cards hot, if you ever, ever went ahead, I'm going to show you real fast. I got a 3090, okay? I got a 3090 currently. This is 49 degrees Celsius. Okay, so in Fahrenheit, I'm not going to converting fahrenheit to celsius it's freaking hot it's over 100 degrees okay imagine now this is a 3090 right this is an rtx 3090 i'm currently running an rtx 3090 fe i'm running an fe uh so this is already hot right imagine 78 of these now these are 39s well these are 3080s but still imagine 30 78 of those cards so first off the air conditioning you guys can see down here in the picture Air conditioning absolutely just everywhere, right? Because you have to keep these cards ventilated. I mean, in a case right now, I have, you know, I had seven fans uh, keeping a 30, even the air ventilating in a case with a 3090, right? 78 of them. So you have to have fans going at all times. So now you have, first off, obviously, the cards have to be powered. The fans have to be powered. The computer has to be powered. All connected to one thing. If any of these cards fail, you have to replace the cards, right? So, uh, consists of 13 times 6 cards, a rate of a total of 78 OTX cards. Each one should be using around 300 watts of power. That's another thing. They don't show this in here, but... Again, each of these power, each of these cards, right? You have to have power supplies to power them. So you're going to need, again, one card, a 3080, 
3090 I have, but a 3080 minimum recommendation is 750 watts. 850 watts is what you should have, right? Now that's if you're having a whole entire PC build. This is not a whole entire PC build, but still 300 watts of power per card. Oh my gosh. Now they don't have the actual amount that they're actually getting charged for electricity, but the entire system should generate a total around 13, 17.3 per month, which is worth right now around $12,840 per month. So that is how much they're making. Uh, if you're taking electricity costs, drop the profit down to $10,674 or eight, 20, 128000 and 88 now which we talked about in the beginning of this video is they're probably going to be spending around around that price tag as an initial investment so the first year they do it they are going to be losing money and then after one year they would be gaining money but that's again like i said that's not taking consideration any issues that have happened if this line of cards break one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's thirteen thousand dollars they have to replace, right? And you just continue, continue, continue. That breaks, that breaks, that breaks. So when they say this, yes, they will make one hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars a year. It's clickbait because a, if you want a GPU nonstop, twenty-four-seven, every single day. It's hard to think that the card's going to last more than a couple of years at most, at most, right? So again, the ticked off about scalpers, maybe should mean we're ticked off as much about scalpers as crypto miners who are literally taking these cards and just not even selling them to the people who want to buy them. They're just pretty much ruining them. They're really taking them and just saying, Hey, we're just going to pretty much run these into the ground, make profit off of them, and then they're worth nothing. Let me know below your thoughts and opinions, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. See you guys next one. Peace out.